you're still it's watching now. Ways now. What you did know. you find for us in the news? Let me go with um, Olamide. Coincidentally, I picked the story Isi picked. So I think I would just say a bit on it, then she would also um, conclude on it. Um, this is um, from Zahara, or is it Zara, sorry. Zara uh, Buhari. Buhari Indini, one of the daughters of the president, saying to us on her Instagram profile that um, Buhari is not the problem of Nigeria. And I would say, while she's entitled to her opinion, I think it is a bit insensitive for her to state such a statement at this time. Tensions are high and all that stuff. I think it's about um, if she has nothing to say, then she should just remain quiet. And on the issue of the car um, COVID, sorry, um, was part of the body of the story. So I just want to say a bit on it. I think it was grandstanding for the car COVID, sorry, car COVID. I don't know why it's such a strong twister. You know, for the car COVID to direct it, as you have said earlier, um, Ua, why did they channel it? Why did they choose to make the government their distribution channel? We all know the bureaucracy of the government. If they actually wanted this, this uh, uh, um, palliatives as we know as we know it to get through to the people, why don't you go into their communities and do the distribution? You can appoint people, go to the heads and distribute it. Now you're coming out to now even aid the government. And I see that what they were just trying to do with that was just to get favors from the government. It was not genuine to really help the people. And I saw one of the statements of one of them, one of the members saying they spent 15 billion. We didn't need to know how much to spend. The issue was it didn't get to the right people. And why did they choose the government as their channel of distribution? So Absolutely. I think that's unfair. Absolutely. So Isi, you were well, going to also talk about me, the story. Um, I will disagree with you on that point, saying that she shouldn't have said anything about it. I won't stand by and watch people lash my father because I would actually want to stand in for him. But in this context, yes, your father is the president of, the, of Nigeria. But... I have to agree with her to an extent because, yes, Buhari, uh, the president, Buhari, actually said that we should um, give the, um, the individuals or the people who are supposed to be responsible for um, um, sending the palliatives to everybody, they didn't do what they were supposed to do when they were supposed to do it. And they didn't do it where, how they were supposed to do it. So accountability now comes into play he should have ha called these people to order. They should have been held accountable for what they were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So he did his part. He actually sent out the palliatives to the people of Nigeria, but the people who were supposed to give it to the people didn't do what they were supposed to do. Well, well so easy. You, can, you can hold um, um, and the president accountable for this because he is not the one that actually distributed it. Well, I, I, I would love to agree with both of you. In some sense, you're right in both senses. Um, but the truth is, Lamy, you were the one that mentioned it yesterday, that it is not the President Buhari that is on the road beating traffic lights. And that's the truth exactly. with, this, with this palliative. It's just wickedness that you would receive things like this and people are hungry on the streets. See, I have been in the NGO business for as long as as 2011 or 2010 when i started volunteering with various ngos and i can tell you it's only a few that actually do what they say they will do that is with ngos now even with this so-called um corporate organizations you know you should have just channeled it directly to where they needed it but you see we already know that there are a lot of undertones to some of these things yes let the government see that i'm doing work so that they give me yes. tax holidays and all of tax that rebates. was that what we needed at that time no we needed to kill hunger at that time so i, I and i i will still condemn people going to break into those um what's it called those warehouses because Absolutely. that is still not the Absolutely. solution that's not the solution i want to take my story quickly because um we're running out of time um and i love the fact that People are coming out to talk about where we made wrong. See, let me tell you something. When we start to admit our own errors, then we are ready for solutions. William Suchamba was talking, um, and he was saying that the decision, right, to, to still stay on the street, you know, that the protest lasted too long, that the decisions for celebrities to still stay on the street and call people to go out on the street, even after the government had come down to say, you know what, we've accepted your five for five, we've disbanded SARS. And he disbanded felt, SARS. He, he felt that. That was absolutely unnecessary. And see, let me tell you something. While we are blaming the government for sending military to the toll gate, we need to also take our we need to take our blame. When the government declared it, we should have 
calm down. Everybody said it, that calm down. Let us also go back. We know that we do not trust the government, right? That is, the, that is, the, that is what we are used to. That's what we've grown up to, you know, to, to, to see. But why didn't we say, you know what, let us take a step back and watch. After a week, if they do not implement we X, Y, Z, we come back. So we went and we were ho going headstrong with them. And he is calling out and he said something that a lot of celebrities were also under pressure. Under pressure to continue to put the fire, to fuel, um, uh, put posts about the protests and all of that. So even the pressure was not only on from within themselves, it was also from their fans expecting them to talk about it. So well, this, can I add my two cents? Go ahead, is, um, Lamy. I, I strongly disagree with you and... Why I would say this is that don't forget that this protest was not coordinated. It, it, was, it was a spontaneous action. So people had, people had um, stayed quiet for too long. And they enjoyed the streets. They enjoyed the protest. There was absolute good food for them. They were enjoying them. So they were socializing. These are things that have been absent in Nigeria. They had enough food. They had enough music and all that. So how do you now take them off the streets to go back home to hunger? Most people that persisted loved it. They wanted to be there because it gave them a sense of belonging. For the longing. first time, their voices were heard. And, and I will so tell you, and I will who tell you, around them back home? Lami, the that, government should have done that, and they should have dialogues with them. Lami, Lami, looking for their leaders, L go Lami, in there and talk to them. Lami, they would leave the street, not using maximum force. La Lami, can you can you hear me speak? Now, I agree with you that the government shouldn't have used force. I am saying that in all of these things, we should be able to separate things. We have our blame. The government has their own blame. Now, see this thing you're talking about: them going on the street and enjoying and eating good food. That was derailing. Right, and he mentioned it. They started partying at the, at the at the protest ground. They started, you know, so many things. I know what they offered me at the protest ground. I know what they offered me. You know, I was telling. You mean? I know that they offered to to give me what's it called um, some some things I don't want to mention on air when I went there to go and do some interviews. So we derailed, right? A lot. So even if you if you had gone to the protest ground the day I went on Friday, they kept on saying it at the stage that this is not why we are here. We should remember why we are here because they kept on reminding the protesters why they were there in the first place. So that at that point the protest had gone cold. You should have gone back to say, okay, you know what? Since the government has had bulged, let us also you know take a step back. And let us go and say, you know what, if they do not meet our demands, then we can come back. That's my point. But you know what? We're going to take a break because we're not talking about the protest today. We're actually looking for solutions and we want to find way forward to all these things that we're asking for about, you know, birthing a new Nigeria. And we have Olakule Shomir to join us right after the break. Please see you then.